George, George, George of the Jungle, watch out for that tree. So hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Or if you're new here, hello, welcome. I'm Jack, but when I'm in drag, I go by Luna Rose, cause I'm the flower that blooms at night. And as you can read from the title of today's video, we're gonna be doing an S cup, that's right, S cup silicone breastplate review from Soft Mary. So let's get into it, shall we? So the breastplate that I chose was sent to me for free to review from the brand Soft Mary, but like always, my opinion is gonna be 100% my own, and I will link down below the specific breastplate that I chose, and we'll do a little unboxing and try on in just a second, so um, excuse the lack of glamour and comfy oversized boy t-shirt, but the breastplate that I chose is the S Cup silicone breastplate with cotton filling in shade number one. They do have four different shades, and shade four actually looks like it goes quite deep, which I truly do appreciate that they do have a little bit more of a um, varying shade range and that retails for 169 UK pounds which I do think is a very fair price for a um, very substantial S cup breastplate like they are some big bad boys and obviously since it is the cotton filling it is a little bit cheaper since the silicone filling like to that breastplate retails for 329 UK pounds so like pretty much double the price tag but, um, you know, silicone filling breastplates have a little bit more jiggle, a little bit more, like, realisticness to them. But they also do weigh a lot more and cost a lot more. So I opted for the cotton filling since a new S-cup would be ginormous that, um... I figured it was safer to um go for the cheaper option and like have a large like breastplate that will not snap my back in half when I try it on. So um let's get it out of the box and I can show you guys what it looks like. And then this is what they look like fresh out of the box. Obviously I did just pop a garment to um cover the nipple region since I do not want to get this video blocked on YouTube since for some reason female nipples are not allowed to be visible at all. But as you can see this is um a very hefty and large cup. Like I said, they are S cup. S cups are um, literally ginormous. Like this thing is like bigger than my head and it is like a higher neckline kind of silicone breastplate, which personally for me is not my favorite. I probably will trim it down and wear a necklace in like future times I wear hair. But um, right off the bat, these are ginormous, ginormous boobs. And since it is the cotton filling, it does have a decent amount of squidge to it, but it doesn't have as much movement as a um, silicone filling would have. However, I am very happy I went for the cotton filling since this has a decent amount of weight to it. So I dread to think how heavy they would actually be if it was silicone filling since obviously silicone would like weigh more than cotton. But um, yeah, they do have a very nice amount of squidge. I think they feel absolutely incredible. So um, yeah, I'll be back with um, this on and we can look a little bit more glamorous. And then this is what they look like on. Let me know what you think of them in the comment section down below. I literally had to like move my chair back and like zoom my camera out as much as it can do to um, try and give you a full visual of um, how gigantic they are, which is literally massive. These are definitely the biggest breasts I think I will ever wear on my channel literally ever. Like I said, I picked the S cup silicone breastplate with cotton filling in the shade number one. One is the lightest shade that they offer and personally I don't think it matches me all that great since I paint quite orange but I don't think it's too bad in terms of like matching my arms but if you do have a breastplate that doesn't match you just take a little bit of foundation or your pressed like powder foundation, apply that to it and it'll make it look a little bit more natural since I think we all can tell this is not my um skin tone and like blended to me perfectly, but it is a relatively simple fix. Like I said, she does have the um like higher neckline, but it doesn't go like all the way up, which I do actually quite prefer since I always feel like I'm getting like choked when it's like a proper like high, high neck one. But like I said, I probably will just trim it to around here and then wear a necklace. And she does have the kind of edge seams on the side, which I actually don't think are that thick. Obviously I will like hide it with hair or my garments in the future, but, um, girl, these are massive. <laughs> 
Sorry, I keep getting distracted. I have a mirror like below the camera that I get ready in and literally all I can see while I'm filming is the biggest cleavage I've ever seen in my entire life taking up the entirety of the mirror. But like I said, I opted for the cotton fill-in and they do have a decent amount of movement and squidge to them. However, if you like bounce up and down, they don't particularly move how a silicone filled breastplate would move. However, the silicone fill-in is literally double the price and would weigh a hell of a lot more than what these do since these are actually like quite lightweight and quite comfortable to wear to be fair, despite them being literally two giant footballs on my chest right now. But um, yeah, let me know what you think of them down below in the comment section. I literally can't resist but keep doing this since they actually feel incredible and like more than a handful. Like, <laughs> They're huge. So overall, would I recommend this breastplate? Yes. I am definitely going to get a lot of use out of this in the future. And even though I went for shade one, which is the lightest shade and it doesn't particularly match me, I think if I go in with some foundation and like finagling, I can make it match me a lot better since, to be fair, my own arm doesn't match my orange face right now. So... Who am I really to judge? And I'm very happy I went with the cotton fill-in since it does have a decent amount of squidge to it. It does have a decent amount of movement to it. And overall, I'm very happy with the like feel and texture of them. I think if I went for the silicone fill-in, not only would it cost more, but I think it would be very heavy and kind of uncomfortable to wear. Whereas this is actually quite comfortable and I will definitely get more use out of it in the future. So, um, yeah, once again, shout out to Soft Mary. Thank you so much for sending this breastplate my way. I'm definitely going to get a lot more use out of it in the future, and you guys will definitely see a lot more of it in the future. If you guys enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you think of me in S cups. Should I wear them more in the future? And don't forget to subscribe to The Girl Next Door with a hell of a hell of a lot more. And like I said, I will leave all the like product details and everything in the description box. And thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I literally like can't even clap like that. <laughs> Huge.